Hi everybody, this is Jeanette from Boricua Sewing Crafts. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play with the buttonhole function of the Brother SC1900. If you open up your machine, you're going to see that you have this particular foot. It's called the A foot. And this is the foot that you use in order for you to make buttonholes, okay? So I'm going to explore this function, okay? So let's move over to the screen. You have your 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 foot and one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that you select a stitch in order for you to be able to make a buttonhole so let's go over here and we're going to move forward and let me see hold on i'm going to go back actually if you go over to the main screen you just go back i'm sorry and then you hit number four number four is where all the buttonholes are available when you hit number four you're going to see you have like three different screens right here and the three different screens kind of give you the different options that you can select to make a buttonhole. And um, what I'm going to do, is I am going to, I'll just pick the first one, okay? And it gives you an idea of what the buttonhole is going to look like if you look all the way to the right. And it also tells you what is the foot that you need to use. And of course, it's saying to put in the A foot, which is this, okay? So let's go over to the machine. I'm going to tell you how to install this one, okay? So excuse my dog. He's a little cranky. He always barks at everybody that's walking around the house. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just remove this. Okay, and before we actually put in the foot for the buttonhole, let's talk about it for a little bit. Now, if you notice, this kind of opens up right here, okay? And I want you to pay close attention to this section right here, and I also want you to pay close attention to these two knobs over here, okay? Now, this is where you're actually gonna put your button, all right? And when you close it down on the button, it's actually going to tell the machine how big the button is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a button. I have a whole bunch of buttons in here. I'm gonna grab one, I'll just grab one. And I'm gonna place it right in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this up when it's nice and snug, okay? So now that this button is in the foot, if you notice, whenever this moves, okay, when this goes up, this knob goes with it, okay? So I'm going to put the button in here and I'm going to press down. And then what this does is this going to tell the machine this is the space that the buttonhole should be in, okay? Now, if you notice right here, this is, the, this is where you anchor your foot, okay? So I'm going to move the camera a little bit by the foot so that you can see um, how to install this baby, okay? Okay, I'm over here at the um, SC1900, and I've already removed my regular foot. Okay, so right now, as you see, there is no foot on here. So I have my um, my A, I have my button on here, and there's a couple of things I want you to pay attention to. You have a gray tab right here, okay? You can pull it down, and you can pull it up, okay? Now, right now, let's leave that in the up position. Now, the way you put this in is the button is going to go in the back, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to actually hook it up into this little silver thing that you see right here, okay, that I'm pointing at. So I'm going to lower my foot. And I'm going to add that in there. There you go. Sometimes it takes a little tries. So as you see, my foot is now in there. Now that my foot is in there, what I want to do is, you see the gray tab that I talked about right here, that I'm pointing at right here, my finger? I want you to pull it all the way down. Okay? Now I know I pulled it down and, and I should have pulled it down. Let me pull it up again and I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to pull it all the way down from here. Okay? Now... I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer because I want you to really see what I'm doing here. Okay, as you can see, I have the tab right here. And one of the things that I want to do is you push it all the way down. And if you notice, and let me get a little pointer so that you can really see because I have fat fingers. 
If you notice, here is a tab, and then look at the little white thing. Put the tab behind this, okay? Now, this is what's going to happen. When you start to sew your buttonhole, this tab is going to hit this section right here, okay? The tab that's right behind. That's the one that tells it how big this button is. So, once this tab is in this section, what's going to happen is that it's going to know that this is the length that the buttonhole needs to be. So let me take a piece of fabric because I've already selected my, my thing. I'm going to move this up. And you know what? It'd be a good idea if I threaded my machine, wouldn't it? So let me thread my machine real quick. I didn't realize that I didn't have any thread in here. So I am going to thread it real quick. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna have to pull it up, pull my foot up in order for me to thread it. And then I'm gonna go down number six. Cut. There you go, my machine is now threaded. Okay, so now that my machine is threaded, I am going to now put a piece of fabric underneath, okay? Put my foot down. Now, one of the things that I do is when I'm doing this, you don't wanna really force the fabric with your hands. You want the machine to be able to sew around the fabric. So when you're holding it, don't put pressure on your fabric, okay? Just let the machine do its magic. And all you're gonna do is just lightly hold it to make sure that it's just straight and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm going to go ahead and sew. to the fabric and then I'm gonna cut it once it's done all right and then I'm gonna lift up my foot and there you go here is your buttonhole thing now you need this to be open so that you can put your button through it right so in your sewing kit and I'm gonna move this back you have a seam ripper and if you watched the first video, I was like, what the heck is this? Well, I didn't know that this pulls out and that this was an actual seam ripper, okay? So what you're gonna do is you don't wanna cut the the, the, the seat, you know, the thread. What you wanna do is you just wanna put this through your fabric, okay? And then you're just gonna push up and that opens up your buttonhole, okay? Now, you wanna see if, if the actual button fits in this? Well, what you do is take out your, uh, your foot. Just lift up the little tab here. Take out your foot. Let's look at the button. And as you can see, fits perfectly through it. I mean, it's not, you know, this is your, your buttonhole. See? Oops, sorry. So, that's how you do it. It's very, very, very simple to do. It's not hard at all and stuff. I mean, once you understand how the, um, how this foot works, how to work it, how to, you know, put your button into the right place and how to put down the, um, lever, okay, then you are good to go. Now, one little tip though, after you use this, make sure that when you have this, you know, that you push it all the way back up when you're no longer using this foot. Because what can happen is, if you don't have this all the way up, then this can actually get in the way of your um, automatic thread thread feeder, okay? So just, you know, something that I wanna share with you guys, all right? So hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Enjoy your brother SC1900s. And please subscribe. I'll have more videos coming. See you later. Bye.